Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hankster's Hot Rods, Muscle Car, and Collector Car Showroom. America's number one choice for premier collector cars for over 30 years. Are you in the market for a muscle car, for a collector car? If you're watching this video, either you have a lot of spare time on your hands or you're uh, shopping for one. And this is one I would suggest. It is a 1971 Ford Mustang, convertible. It has a period correct 302 and it's a highly optioned car. So um, very, very nice unit. Let's check it out. This is a Hankster certified unit. Uh, does have a 302, as I already stated. That is the number on the air cleaner. That is the uh, motor in the car. You can barely see the power brake booster. It's kind of buried there on the driver's side firewall. But the car is equipped with power brakes. It is also equipped with power steering. And when I said highly optioned car, see this contraption right here? There's your high and low side fittings, that is your AC compressor. The car is equipped with AC and it does work. What else? Well, the car, the paint on the car is fantastic. Uh, real nice uniform color and clear throughout the entirety of the hood and the fender tops here. Uh, just a real nice car. Chrome up front, real nice condition. Grill, grill looks to be in nice shape. Front bumper chrome is real nice. No uh, rusting, pitting, chrome peel, bubbling, flaking. Body lines on the car are fantastic. We'll take a look at those when we're around the back end of the vehicle. Uh, paint on the front fender, uh, again, outstanding. We don't have any history on the car as far as, you know, when was the tranny rebuilt, the motor rebuilt, uh, you know, the car painted. There is a book of receipts in the trunk that's about four inches thick of all the money that was put into this car and it's pretty significant. But they're all parts, receipts, miscellaneous, whatever, but uh, real, real, real nice car. Those wheels, those are brand new. We put those on there. Cooper raised white letter tires. Uh, you got a uh, vinyl stripe down the side, gray, silver. Uh, real, real nice accent to the car. Let's check out the front windshield. Uh, glass clarity, real nice up front here. I don't see any cracks or chips looking through the windshield onto the dash pad and the dashboard. Real nice condition, not uh, cracked or split. Car has uh, dual mirrors, same color as the vehicle. So I was mentioning earlier the body lines. So check out the uh, door fitment, you know, the, the gapping of the door to the front fender and then to the rear quarter and then how nicely the door uh, shuts to the uh, uh, rocker into the uh, rear quarter of the vehicle. Just a real nice looking car um, throughout, interior, exterior, underneath, everything. Let's open the door here quickly, check out a couple things. First of all, white interior, anytime you're dealing with white interior on a classic car, you know, there's going to be some degree of staining, fading, whatnot. Uh, the door panel on this car is real nice. There's some very faint cracks here in the armrest. It's not split. It just shows a little bit of age right there. Um, the interior itself, we have a black and white combination going on in here. Uh, white vinyl interior. Where's the lever? There it is. Uh, vinyl interior in the back. I don't see anything ripped or torn. Um, it's in pretty nice shape. Uh, carpeting's in nice condition. The uh, floor mats in the car are brand new. Again, we put those in there. Uh, the carpeting underneath the floor mat, there's no issue there. Uh, steering wheel has a little crack in it right there. Uh, as far as the driver's seat is concerned, you have good cushion and then you have great vinyl. Center console car, automatic. Uh, check out your courtesy lights. They're illuminating into the floor here when I open up the driver door. Both driver and passengers are working. Uh, top of this car, uh, it is white. You can see a little bit of that here in the video. And then uh, the uh, back window is glass. Uh, window clarity is fantastic. Uh, top's in great condition. There's no issues with the top. Check out the still photos. Um, how about the rear quarter? Let's pan it low, high, middle, around the wheel. I mean, just this paint job on this car is I have about 60 cars in the building right now. This is definitely top five. I mean, the paint on this car is real, real nice. It's uniform color and clear. Uh, just a real deep blue, real awesome looking uh, paint job on this car. 
kudos to whoever uh, shot this one. The uh, deck lid here, uh, real nice uniform uh, paint. Again, clear color. It's just an outstanding color uh, for this year. You know, just a real, real good looking uh, piece we have sitting here. Chrome on the rear bumper. About the same as the front, no rust around the bumper bolts, pitting, flaking, peeling. How about our trunk? Let's check that out. Parade boot. There's those receipts I was telling you about. Uh, trunk mat. Let's look at our trunk underneath the mat here. No issues in there. I started off the video presentation by saying what an, you know, what an outstanding uh, first classic car, collector car this vehicle would be. It just is. Power steering, power brakes, air, 302s are simplistic motors, easy to maintain. Not a whole lot of issues with these motors, the 302s and the 289s, you know. Real, real, real nice paint, brand new wheels, newer tires. It'd be a real nice turnkey classic for somebody looking to get into their first collector car or classic car. You're striping down the side here on the passenger side, real nice. Um, you know, I think it, it probably looks more silver than gray, but whatever. It's in great condition. Uh, the uh, wheel openings all in nice shape. I told you the wheels were brand new, so check those out in the still photos. There's no curb rash, pitting, rust, anything like that going on for the for the wheels. Look at that closure there on that door gap. That bo those body lines. See the body line here. How it's nice and uniform throughout the uh, length of the body here on the passenger side. It's the same way on the driver's side. You know, in the classic car hobby business, uh, you know, how straight's the car down the side? What that references is the body lines on the car. You know, is the car packed with Bondo, mud, filler? Uh, the answer to this particular car is absolutely not. Real, real, real nice lines on the entire body of this uh, 71 Mustang convertible. Door panel on the passenger side. Real nice, just like the rest of the interior. Um, both seats, driver and passenger, real nice. You can see when you open up the uh, passenger door here, the uh, courtesy lights, again, illuminating in the car into the floor. Front seat belts, uh, you know, all the white vinyl in the car, driver and passenger, real nice shape. Great car. Let's pan low on the door. I told you the paint on this car is about as nice as it gets. I've seen $100,000 cars that don't have paint as nice as this car does. Uh, the wheel opening on the uh, passenger side front there, real nice condition. <laughs> I wish the guy painted this car living in Florida. 1971 Ford Mustang convertible. We're going to put it up in the air and we're going to uh, check out the undercarriage and then we're going to take a test drive. I do encourage you, I, if you haven't uh, picked up on it, I think this car is pretty fantastic. For the price point, uh, for the condition, uh, for the available options, you know, it's just a fantastic car. Tell me if you agree with me and do that by visiting our showroom here in Daytona Beach. Uh, we will be more than happy to show you this 71 Ford Mustang or any other piece of inventory we have in our showroom. We have an awesome facility. It's 25,000 square feet. It's air conditioned, has a cool little gift shop, and has anywhere from 50 cars on the light side to 70 cars on the heavy side at any given moment, depending on how many we manage to buy and sell, most of which we own. Uh, we would be more than happy to show you this vehicle, let you uh, look at the paint real good out in the natural Florida sunshine. We'll put it in the air for you and check out the undercarriage of the car. We'll let you drive it. You can see if there's anything you don't like, how it rides, handles, steers, stops, any of that stuff. This way, when the vehicle shows up, wherever you might be located at in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and you went over the car for yourself. Believe you me when I tell you I do not shoot these videos because I have nothing better to do with my time. We do it because we sell 90% of our cars sight unseen. Therefore, if you visit our website, you'll see 80 to 100 photos of every single car. Why do we do this? To try to take every angle and every aspect of the vehicle. Why is there a 20 to 25 minute video presentation that includes a walk around, an undercarriage presentation, and a test drive? 
because we're trying to provide full disclosure on the product that we're selling. We are an internet-based company. That's how we conduct the majority of our transactions, and we've been doing it a long time. So hopefully our longevity in this business tells you something about the quality and quantity of vehicle we put through our showroom month after month and year after year, as well as our reputation and the way that we do business. You know, we haven't been in business a year and a half or two years. We've been in business a long time. Uh, I'm a sight unseen shopper. I don't go to the store for anything. Everything gets delivered either here or at my home. Uh, but when you're dealing with a 30, 40, 50 year old car, and uh, if you're, you know, if you've been saving for it for a while and it's your dream car, you know, hop in the car, hop in a plane, you know, check it out for yourself. Maybe grab a t-shirt or two out of shop, go grab some uh, breakfast, lunch, or dinner here in Daytona Beach. A lot of cool restaurants on the water, sites to see, and uh, let us ship you a brand new car or a brand new collector car or a trailer at home, drive at home, whatever your circumstances are. But uh, definitely check it out in person. Let's put our uh, 71 Mustang up in the air. The undercarriage of this car is just as fantastic as at the top. So let's, let's show you that right now. Underneath our 1971 Ford Mustang, you have disc brakes up front in this car. The oil pan looks real nice. You can see here the front seal and the pan both. Uh, really nice condition. I don't see any leaks at this time. The rear of the block uh, pan is harder to see. You got the starter in the way and the exhaust and the cross member and all sorts of stuff. But uh, from everything that I can see standing under a car, it looks to be nice and dry at this time. Uh, where do we want to go next? Why don't we go to the trans pan since we're right there. Uh, that's nice and dry too, looks to be. Let's move on to our torque boxes and frame rails and floor pans and all that fun stuff. Uh, everything on this car underneath looks nice and solid. Uh, torque boxes, driver's side, passenger side look good. Floor pans look good. All one solid piece. I don't see anything sectioned, silicone patched, tiger hair, two by fours, plywood, whatever. Uh, no, nice solid car underneath. You do have the uh, plate here for the structural rigidity of the car when the top's down uh, to prevent the body from flexing. Uh, typical of a Ford convertible. The uh, Exhaust pipes, real nice welds. Uh, they look like newer pipes. Mufflers look good too. We'll check out the rear pans here. By the way, e-brakes hooked up. That works. Uh, Flowmaster exhaust. What's this in the rear? Four wheel disc brakes on this car? That's pretty awesome, right? The raised white letter Coopers, let me see if I can pull a date off this thing, 2022. So uh, two years old on the tires, plenty of tread, uh, no issues with any kind of dry rotting or cracking or anything like that going on. Pretty sweet car. 71 Ford Mustang convertible. It is an awesome day to drop the top. I don't get uh, out of my office much, so I'm gonna go out there and catch a little bit of a, a tan today driving this thing, because we have beautiful weather here in Daytona Beach. Let's talk about how to pay for this car before we go drive it. If you're a cash buyer, we accept cashier's check from your bank and then bank wire transfer. If you are financing the collector car lenders we use, we'll do five to 15 year loans on these cars, 10% down of the purchase price. So if the car's 30 grand, you're talking about $3,000 out of pocket. You can do more if you'd like to, but they're gonna require a minimum of 10%. Uh, no prepayment penalty on the loan. So if you take it out for 10 years and you pay it off in two, they won't penalize you for doing that. Also, it's a simple interest loan. Therefore, any additional monthly payments goes towards the balance of the loan, not towards the interest. Once the car is paid in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection. I've stated a few times in this video, we're dealing with old cars here. Anything can start leaking. Anything can stop working, malfunction at any given moment. We don't rig it to do that. It just happens. They're old cars. Therefore, we put the vehicle through one last shakedown prior to it leaving our facility and heading your direction. Once it's green lighted through the shop, the car goes through detail and then a carrier is dispatched if we are handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a driver here within a 48 hour window. However, if you're in a more difficult destination or there's a holiday that falls in there or there's weather conditions here in Florida or in the state that the driver's going to or, or whatever, you know, allow us four, five, six business days we will get you your vehicle just as soon as we possibly can, safely and uh, quickly. And if you're picking it up yourself or you're sending your own driver for it, we'll let you know when it's ready. Let's set our 71 Mustang down on the ground and see how this car uh, drives.
Remember how I told you this was a highly optioned car? Check it out. Dakota Dash. Tack. Temp's working. Oil's working. Clock's working. Fuel's working. Voltage is working. 403 miles. My guess is going to be that since the dash has been put in, but I don't know that for sure. Driver's side turn, that little itty bitty thing right there, can you see it next above the fuel gauge? What about the passenger side turn? That works too. Horn. Wipers. Power convertible top. would build up in the lines but it goes all the way up and all the way down I'm not gonna bore you to tears with that but um, AC uh, max not yet I'm waiting on a compressor There we go. All right, you have cold AC. We don't need it right now. The radio works, it is Bluetooth. The radio works. Show you horn, turn signals, wipers top. Da, 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 da. Told you, it's a cool car. I like it. Let's drive it. This car is fantastic. What a nice ride. Speedo works. Steering's nice and tight in the car. Good response in the wheel. Car tracks nice and straight like it should. No engine vibration, tranny vibration, anything like that going on. What a great car. And a car this nice and a day this beautiful, you can take the rest of the day off very easily. We'll uh, take it up to the traffic light here. Uh, we'll hit the brakes, show you those. We'll. Uh, Get it up to about 60 miles per hour, and uh, we will conclude our presentation. There's the brakes. Look at how nicely that car stops. Okay, we got a green light. It's a good day. Convertible, sunshine, AC, green light. Tranny shifts good. Yeah, that's about 55. This is a sweet ride. Very, very cool car. 386-944-9219 is where you can find this vehicle, the 80 to 100 pictures, and this video presentation. Hanksters.com. Did I just say that? <laughs> Hanksters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car, as well as the video presentation you're watching right this very moment. This is live television, ladies and gentlemen. At full retail price, our 71 Mustang includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers the engine, transmission, and rear end, inter that was obnoxious. internal components. It does not cover brakes, batteries, starters, alternators, oil pan gasket leaks, all that kind of stuff. It's on you. That comes uh, as part of the luxury of owning one of these classic rides. Expected maintenance.
It also includes shipping in the lower 40 United States and an enclosed carrier. Is the price of the car negotiable? Most well, certainly is, within reason. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Our full retail price program is turnkey. You get the security of the warranty, and then you get the uh, convenience of us handling all of your shipping. This means we look into the driver, make sure they're properly licensed, bonded, insured. Uh, you know, we arrange to pick up at our showroom. We arrange the delivery at your home or business. We track the progress of the car until it makes it to you. We write the check for the driver when they arrive. Uh, at a negotiated cost, you can do all that stuff on your own. Maybe you are a collector or an investor and you want to trailer this car home. You have your own method of transportation. Or maybe you have a, you have a carrier you've used in the past you had a good experience with. You're more than welcome to use your own method of transport. That's no issue whatsoever. And if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, you have options. Those options are top up, AC on, or top down and sunshine. Or maybe you put the top down and the AC on. But uh, nonetheless, this car would make it to your destination without issue. Very, very, very nice car. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in the Sunshine State, Florida, Daytona Beach. And our website is hanksters.com. Check us out.